Hello, my friends! This is the video that I made on ticker symbol BABA on May the 10th when the price of this asset was at $80.07 and my main assumption at this very point uh, was that we have uh, to have one more leg to the upside uh, that should complete the fifth wave on a smaller scale and the, we should land somewhere in between uh, $84.13 and we shouldn't break $85.87. And here is the actual price action. As you can see, we hit exactly this uh, level and we had a quite harsh uh, movement to the downside. And for now, we are still uh, in between these uh, two ranges of uh, support and resistances. By the way, guys, take a look uh, on, the, on this uh, video. You can see that I haven't drawn any lines in between my videos. And uh, this uh, is a very good range of support and resistances that were marked by me uh, several months, I guess, or weeks ago. And uh, we have this range of support again as the major range of support. And we are hovering in between these two levels. On top of that, guys, uh, this is the video that I made uh, on BABA back uh, in May the 3rd. When the price of this asset uh, was uh, at $80.82 and here is uh, my main assumption how this asset uh, should go. And uh, definitely at this very point, uh, from this very point, basically we made exactly the same uh, price action. On top of that, again, uh, this video was made by me on April 19th when the price of this asset uh, was below $69. And my main assumption was that we have to have uh, this type of movement to the upside. And guys, it happened exactly as I predicted. So this is uh, another evidence how powerful technical analysis is. And if you want to know more about technical analysis, if you want to enhance your trading skills, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and to join my Patreon account, where for the $35 a month, you will be able to drastically enhance your trading skills. On top of that, for the first 100 subscribers, I will do a giveaway. I will do a technical analysis based on your request on any asset that you might find. On top of that, and it is the most lucrative offer. For now, there is not so many people inside uh, this community. That is why almost 100% of my time will be dedicated to you. And this means uh, it is pretty much a one-on-one -on -one training for $450 a month. Uh, for the value of $450, but for the fraction of this cost, for just $35 a month. And I think uh, it is quite a fair deal. So guys, and uh, let's uh, continue with the fundamental news. What was uh, the reason of this quite harsh movement to the downside? I told you that uh, be if before the earnings report certain asset had the movement uh, to the upside, Right after the report, despite pretty much despite the results that is disclosed in this uh, report, the price uh, should have a trend reversal. And it happened exactly as I predicted. As you can see, uh, they published their earnings report uh, on May 14th and uh, they beat uh, a revenue, but they missed uh, earnings per share. And uh, for now, we still have for this quite interesting price action. And uh, I will explain you what to expect next in just several minutes. But uh, let me show you some details uh, from this earnings report. We are on uh, CNBC.com and this article was published uh, right after Alibaba published its earnings report. And it's titled Alibaba shares uh, fall 6% after the Chinese tech giant posts 86% drop in profit. And uh, let me quote to these bullet points. Alibaba post uh, a beat on revenue in its uh, fiscal fourth quarter ended in March. But the Chinese e-commerce giant's uh, net profit plunged. Net income came uh, in at 3.3 billion yuan, down 85% year on year. And here's uh, these results uh, in uh, US dollars. So revenue uh, was at uh, 20, uh, 221.9 billion yuan. It is uh, 30.7 billion dollars versus uh, 219.66 billion yuan expected. And uh, net income uh, attributable to ordinary shareholders uh, came at 3.3 billion yuan, down 86% year on year. And this is the main uh, downside that drove for the price downside news that drove the price of Alibaba lower. And let me show you some more details. Alibaba had a rocky year in 2023 when it carried out its largest ever corporate structure overhaul. It also separately implemented several high-profile management changes, with company veteran Eddie Wu taking over the reins as chief executive in September. 
In a bid to signal confidence to shareholders, the Chinese tech giant said earlier this year that it increased its shares its share buyback program by 25 billion dollars through the end of March 2027. On top of that, guys, I want to pay attention to this uh, uh, information. Earlier this year, CEO Wu voted to reignite growth in the e-commerce firm with further investments. There appeared to be early signs uh, of uh, that taking hold in uh, the March quarter. This quarter's uh, results uh, demonstrate that our strategies uh, are working and uh, we are returning to growth, Wu said in uh, the earnings release. The profit drop casts a long shadow on the earnings. Alibaba said the reason for the fall is primarily attributable to a net loss from our investments in publicly traded companies during the quarter, compared to a net gain in the same quarter last year due to the mark-to-market changes. And guys, this fact, this statement explains a lot because uh, we know that uh, Alibaba has uh, quite uh, deep pockets and they have a lot of uh, cash on hands. And uh, that is why in order to preserve for this money, they uh, can uh, uh, invest uh, this in other companies. And uh, when uh, these companies uh, are not in their best shape, uh, definitely the price uh, of their shares uh, moves down and uh, it uh, affects uh, directly the Alibaba's investment. That is why they have for this uh, quite substantial movement to the downside. But for now, we are in some kind of recovery mode. And let me show you an update uh, that uh, happened uh, right after Alibaba published their report. We have several companies that uh, updated their forecast on Alibaba. And the majority of uh, these uh, companies lowered their price target, but they lowered it not for the huge amount uh, of money. Uh, for example, Tourist Financial lowered from 113 to 110 dollars uh, city group lowered from 124 to 122 dollars uh, mizuho lowered from 95 to 92 and benchmark uh, initiated their rating uh, with a price target of 118 dollars as you can see almost all of these price targets are above uh, 100 dollars threshold and in general if you take a look on the consensus analyst price target it is at $112.02, which is still uh, has the potential of about 38.33%. Uh, so definitely it is quite good sign and uh, we have to keep this in mind. And uh, on top of that, guys, from the technical standpoint, and by the way, let's continue with the technical analysis. But before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, from the technical standpoint, if we zoom out to a daily time frame, you can see that Alibaba, let me clean the chart a little bit, uh, has a pretty much double bottom pattern and it is not its lowest point. The lowest point was set uh, uh, back uh, in uh, October of 2022. But uh, this was a very good sign and I told you about this, that potentially this might be a very first uh, potential movement to the upside that is uh, the beginning of new major uptrend. And uh, let me zoom in again, uh, turn on uh, these uh, tools and let me explain you what to expect next. According to Elevate Wave Theory, we have to have an ABC correction to the downside. And for now, we don't have uh, uh, the proper structure in this movement right after its earnings report. That is why potentially we have uh, to have something like this. This uh, might be our A wave, this might be our B wave, and we have to have another leg to the downside that uh, should... Uh, uh, complete this ABC correction and uh, somewhere lower we might have a major trend reversal that will break again uh, this uh, $85 mark and uh, it is quite obvious uh, to see these patterns if you want to know more again uh, drop me a line in the comment section subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, join my patreon account and when uh, this type of price action happens I will do another update and I will show you how powerful technical analysis is so and uh, I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gonna live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna get caught up in this life. I'm crazy, I'm bad. Doing no cap. Only God wants you.